The monarch butterfly is one of the most well-known insects in the country, and its absence in the Midwest this year is raising concern for some naturalists. News Channel 15's Jesse Hawila joins us from Studio 15 with why the monarch population is so low. Jesse? Mark, it all starts with understanding the butterfly's short life cycle. The monarch only lays its eggs on milkweed, a common weed found across much of the United States. Now, when the egg hatches, a caterpillar emerges, eats and grows over the course of a few weeks, then forms a chrysalis. From that chrysalis, an adult monarch hatches and toward the end of summer will migrate south to Mexico. Many experts believe the monarch's population has dropped significantly over the last few years because of severe drought across much of North America. Depletion of their home habitats from illegal logging in Mexico is also playing a big role. Also, most people, including road crews, will mow down milkweed, which takes away a young monarch's only home. Naturalists say you can raise monarchs yourself to help increase the population. It's not only helpful, but fun and educational. Wild monarchs, ones that are not brought inside to be reared, only have about a 10% chance of living. Well, I've done it at least 30 years. Everybody found caterpillars and, and raised caterpillars to uh, the adults. In Ron Divelbiss's 30 years of monarch raising, this is the first year he hasn't seen an egg or a caterpillar. Now, for more information on how you and your family can raise monarchs, head to our website, wayne.com. In Studio 15, Jesse Hawila, News Channel 15.